And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dawn Speaker Azir. The first of three meme tier donation decks. I know it's middle of the week. Usually we have meme tier decks on Mondays, but I have a backlog of really cool meme tier decks to play. So we're going to be doing three more today. Probably some more tomorrow as well, um, because, you know, one, they're really fun to play. But two, you know, let's let's get through our donation decks. It's donation deck week. Um this one is going to be a Sand Soldier deck with Dawn Speakers. So Dawn Speakers is round end, grant other allies plus one plus one if an ally died this round. And combining that with uh, Sand Soldiers, you know, like whenever you attack, you put in your Sand Soldier. Because, of course, the Sand Soldier has Ephemeral, it's going to strike, it's going to die. And so then round end, you're granting your other allies plus one plus one. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You get that, that ability to happen all the time. So we're going to have Emperor's Dies and Azir being able to put those Sand Soldiers into play, plus one at Shifting Sands at the top end. And also whenever the Sand Soldiers are dying, they're going to be leveling up our Lucian, right? Because we need just four allies to, to die uh, to level up Lucian, and each one of those Sand Soldiers will count as that. Now we want more attacks, right? Because we, we get the Sand Soldiers whenever we attack, so attacking is very valuable. So we're going to be having uh, like one Cataclysm and three Golden Ages for, you know, the Golden Ages rally to get us more attacks. The Cataclysm starts a free attack. So those will all have more ways to put those Sand Soldiers in play. Top end, we got a couple Radiant Guardians because of how good this card is these days and uh, some Bruisers. Now the Bruisers will create some Lucky Finds for us. Those Lucky Finds, they we could put them on Dawn Speakers to make... Because Dawn Speakers doesn't buff itself, it buffs everything else. So we can put um, things like Tough or Spell Shield and things like that. We can buff up our Dawn Speakers or we can give it to our champions, especially like Lucian. We could get a Lucky Find, try to give Lucian Overwhelm so that it has the double attack plus Overwhelm, uh, which could be really cool. Same with like Senna. If Senna gets the double attack, give that um, uh, Overwhelm as well. We have one Absolver for that also, for the double attack Overwhelm, and that's kind of it. Then we have, you know, some different uh, removal spells, protection, uh, all that kind of stuff. So let's get to it. We're going to try Dawn Speaker Azir, our first of three decks, and we're going to be playing our five games in normal, that being a meme tier day. Let's see how we do with Dawn Speakers. It's, it's like the, it's the poppy that you have to work hard for. All right, so we're playing against... Ezreal, Senna. I like this hand, I like Golden Ages, but you know, if this is like a removal heavy deck and they kill all of our stuff, then Golden Ages won't be very valuable. This is a good curve. Yeah, we had a, a little glitch there. Um, but it looks like it's all working now. I feel like I play Lucian here. They kill Lucian. Am I willing to accept that? Yes. Don't get in my way. Other option would be not to... Ooh. Okay. Well, now we get Senna. Can somebody somebody just let me know? Just say yes. The the audio now sounds very good. All the levels sound good. No. Lucian. Lucian. All right, so we'll have double attack Senna. All right, we took that took out all their mana. Right, it's so like we're even on mana, even on cards. I waste a sand soldier. That's fine, because I'm probably going to want to open attack. Well, no, maybe we'll wait. The I did want to open attack. I think we have something on that case. Shuri, see what I see. Carry it with you. Emperor, I am honored. Name. 
Hmm. Okay, sounds good now. Alright, so that gets us to uh, uh, 9 out of 13. We were just at 4 just a little bit ago. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Golden Ages over the Cataclysm, because I felt if I Cataclysm, maybe they respond by by killing my Senna. My gun does the talking. All right, so we know they just made a vile feast. Your emperor commands. I have risen, and with me, Sharima. This is looking pretty good. I will go in single combat so they do not get the spiderling. I think they're trying to get another go hard. All right, and that's game. Those things each attack for three. All right, that looked pretty good of just a whole bunch of sand soldiers. And, you know, we didn't have Dawn Speakers. We had a really good curve with Treasure Seeker, both champions, a whole bunch of Dawn, or a whole bunch of uh, sand soldiers, and some rallies, some extra attacks. Echo Zillion. I predict this is going to be a good game. Too many threes to start with. We don't want all of our threes. We're sending one of them back. I think we'll send Senna back against Piltover and Zahn that has Mystic Shot. Okay, maybe not so much on my whole prediction that this would be a good game. <laughs> what an ugly hand. All right, a couple Hexite Crystals, that's bad news. So very good start for them, very poor start for us. Do not see what is, see what will be. What do you make of that? Wow, yeah, great start for them. I don't think I can sit there and just take all that damage. By the strength of our convictions. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. The order is given. So this isn't great. Um, but I'd rather I think guess I'd rather Instead of attacking with this is here, play this is here. I definitely want to get Radiant Guardian in play. That's my goal. Get Radiant Guardian in play. That's my goal. Yeah, that's a lot of That's that's a really good like early setup, right? Double fall on feline, double xenotype researchers. Whenever you're playing a predict deck, those are the two cards you want early on. Besides, you know, Zillion. Besides that, like, those are your early cards you want. Have you two made any progress? This specimen 
Those chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. Be strong! These are dark times. Alright. Push back the darkness. Yeah, double dawn speakers could be awesome. I don't have the mana right now to um, Dawn Speakers plus. Okay, well now we're gonna just double Dawn Speakers. I didn't have the mana to Dawn Speakers plus Golden Ages. I wanted to Golden Ages so I can have something die. But now we have something die anyway. Words move hearts and armies. We definitely wanted something to die. Awesome. They're killing the wrong thing. They should definitely be killing the Dawn Speakers. Our allies did not fall in vain. See what we see, soldier. Oh, man, what a hand they've had. The now they're gonna have. You don't need to attack. Now they're gonna have leveled up Zillion. So I think I want to repost because I save, you know, I save five damage with a repost. We could sharp sight and golden ages. We don't really need to golden ages. Let's just go ahead and do, do this repost. Save a lot of damage on it. Be strong. These are dark times. Time waits for no one. No one yeah, the leveled up zillion is going to be a problem. All right, there we go. That's what we need. Take out leveled up Zillion. Okay, yeah, they actually can see because this Radiant Guardian, I guess, you know, if they don't, they don't have anything in their hand, they can really deal with this Radiant Guardian. How about that? Zoe Nami. I think we should have a Triple Dawn Speakers Poppy deck. Yep, yeah, then we'll have nothing ever die. I guess that's why you need like the sand soldiers, because you need things to die. Um I like sharp sights in this matchup, right? Because they're gonna have the elusives. Bruiser's pretty cool. Like, all these cards are good, but this could be us not doing anything for a while. So I guess we'll send this back. Um, we need to I think I think we keep sharp sights though in this matchup. Ugh. Need some units. Okay, there we go. There we go. He said Poppy Dawn Spiders. That's the thing, the, the spiders won't die though. Oh, hey, what's that? Alright, so I'm actually not going to play the Dias. Because I want to keep the two mana up for uh, Sharp Sight. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. My people are counting on me. Destiny calls. Your emperor commands. All right, so that's scary. Both champions. At least they're doing a terrible job leveling up Nami. So far, I mean that that can change, but so far they are. Uh, that doesn't help. It's still blocked. Alright, so I'm not getting Bruiser in play. My name echoes through every rock, every canyon. Alright, so I was planning on 
you know, Dawn Speakers plus Sharp Sight. But now I really want Lucian in play because I want Lucian to see like these three Sand Soldiers die. That's rude. So they can play any spell, buff one of these to be a 3-1, and then kill Azir. Now I can save Azir with Sharp Sight. Or I just let Azir die and then Lucian levels up. Tough choices, tough choices. It's not gonna be too difficult for Lucian to level up anyway, but if I save if I save Azir, we don't get to play Dawn Speakers. I don't think I'm gonna let Azir die. Is that... I don't know. We'll kinda see. We're gonna need more coffins. That's what we do know. We're gonna need more coffins. Words move hearts and armies. Be strong! These are dark times. Steal from the rich and give to the us. Yeah, we got we got one shifting sands in here. The person that donated for the deck one definitely like they wanted a shifting sands in the deck. I don't know if we're gonna end up playing it here in this game. I don't think so. Which one was that? Uh, the super cool star chart. Oh, that's mean. Fearsome and Challenger. I'll take Challenger. Alright, so of course these sand soldiers are gonna die. I guess I could have the Lucian last, but that's that's gonna get us that's gonna let us rally. And that'll also enable Radiant Guardian. This is a cool combination. Bruiser. Bruiser Lucky Finds with Lucian. Looking for some nice overwhelm. Or double attack overwhelm. Hey, how about that? Bring in the heat. Okay. There we go. Nice double attack overwhelm. Challenger. This deck's looking pretty sweet. Oh, we get the popular Azir deck, Aurelia Azir. It's not dead. Aurelia Azir uh, can definitely do some work. All right, this card's gone. Cataclysm could be good against like their smaller things, right? Like Illusion plus Cataclysm to, to challenge stuff and kill stuff. But it's probably trading down on mana. But that would be good against like Aurelia. But then they have, uh, I don't know, then they have like all their recall cards. Uh, I don't know. I guess we keep it. I'd like to have like an Azir or an Emperor's Dies to go along with it so we get a Sand Soldier along with it. I don't know. Maybe I should be sending this back. I could definitely see Aurelia Azir just running us over. I am very glad we have this Radiant Guardian. We got the like Radiant Guardian Dawn Speaker combo. But I could certainly see this deck running us over. Don't get in my way. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Ooh. Show them no weakness. You cost two mana to blade dance. Um. Hmm. Question is cataclysm now or wait till after 
after stop to Cataclysm. Like, you know, wait till after we have an Azir and play to Cataclysm. So I kind of want to see if they if they tap out, right? Like, if they flawless duet, then tap out, then we can Cataclysm. Okay. Don't duck on my account. Shadows. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Where they fall. Oh, come on, another one. See what Man, do I have to let Lucian die? To then play Radiant Guardian? My heart wow, what a hand. Every fallen ally. Must see but yeah, like I said, I, I could definitely see us... I could have definitely saw us losing this game. I think, I think we're going to rely on the Radiant Guardians. Sand and blood. And punch. Yeah, I think we sack Lucian to... Your Emperor commands. I, I think it's Lucian over Azir. I think Azir is maybe more necessary with the Dawn Speakers. In Shurima's name. Virtue guides me. You will be scoured from this land. The order is given. Cool. Not recall. That's good. The Yordle here is with me. I fight for the fallen. My heart races. What if I can I have risked. I will always. And with you, Sharima. Man, this is going to be really, really difficult to win. These things are just too big. Now Aurelia levels up with that. Making the dead dead. I think my plan here is Senna, Dawn Speakers, and Riposte. A dance for two hearts, united in war. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. I think we're going to be reposting. I will end this to here. Kill this thing. By the strength of our convictions. This is not good. A line around me. Yeah. Sweep the leg. And punch. Fight for the first lands. Full speed ahead. Arise. And they have two of these things. Man. All right, so I block like this. They they swap these two. Stay back. Oh man, that's a good play. So that happens too. Wow, yeah, actually that's the better play. Our ally 
allies did not fall in vain. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. Push back the darkness. Strike for justice! The order is given. So we should have Cataclysm the sparring earlier? I mean, Aurelia was definitely a lot better than the sparring. They just had, had a second Aurelia. You dare. Aurelia is definitely a much better card than the sparring student. Glorious sacrifice. I could pass the round right now. And save this Golden Ages for next round. Alright, chat's saying Ages time. I don't know what to... I don't know what the gold mage is. Purity and peace. I mean, the level's not gonna, the Lucian's not gonna level up before the other things die anyway. If they use like a twin disciplines, if they kill Azir, then Azir dies, Sand Soldier dies, Sand Soldier dies. So we do get another attack. So maybe we should be attacking with the Dawn Speakers also. Seeing if they kill either of them. Surprising they just haven't had any spells. I mean, I'd, I'd love that. I'd love that those are just all units in hand. I'd be very happy with that. That could come in clutch. Alright, so now with the Sand Soldier dying, that means we rally. Stay back. I think that's a safe block. Safe ish block. Hmm. Okay. I. I mean, I guess they get another one of those. They have four blockers. Arise. We have six lethal attackers. It is time. Arise. Oh, you're in for it. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Imagine Dawn Speakers with plus one, plus one for each attack. Poppy's not bad. All right. Got him. Wow, what a win. What a win. Rallies are good. That was a perfect Lucian draw, too, that round before. And we're back for some Masters rank, because as y'all know, whenever we play our meme tier decks, if we're 4-0 and with the meme tier deck, that means it's maybe a little bit too good for normal. So we're going to give it a, a much more difficult test in rank, so those y'all watching um, can see. Okay, is this deck good enough for Masters rank? Let's see. Here we go. Here's our test. We have the same regions. Demacia, Shurima. We got different champions, though. They're going Action Sivir. We will keep the Lucian, send back the 4 and 5 mana cards, look for a better curve out, and I'd have to say this is probably a better curve out. Treasure Seeker, Lucian, Senna. Lucian, Senna. Doesn't mean that we're going to win, because they could also have a good curve out as well. Quick hands make quick work. I really hope they don't have the card action. We do have a backup Lucian. 
That's definitely good having the backup Lucian. Because Fleet Feather Tracker can kill this one. Oh, love that. Let it happen, let it happen. Don't sharp sight. Trade. Tradesies. Yes. Good tradesies. No trades backs. That's one out of four for Lucian. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton. Right, Arda. I've always got you. Oh well. Don't worry about me. So if they make this challenge here and they kill Lucian, then we have five power double attack Senna that we can open That's attack and just do ten to them. Take a ten? Oh, they did have the sharp sight. Okay, well. Now they're not necessarily taking ten. It's good for them to have that sharp sight. They needed that. Brown too much. And your face will stay like that. <laughs> Unlikely with you around. Uh that card is good. That card is good. I guess I could still attack with the Senna, right? Because then double attack. No, because in the second attack, they, they would trade. Yeah, they would trade, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought they would trade. Really powerful wizard with the resub. Thank you very much. Alright, so they're passing over to me. So this could definitely be like... I don't know. I want to play the Bruiser. But what, do they have like another Merciless Hunter type card and they want me to tap out and then... Because obviously they have things to play, right? Like they don't... It's not like they can't play stuff. Yeah, the Bruiser is safe. It's just now... I'm not protecting Lucian from like Merciless Hunter. Like the Bruiser is okay. Like the Bruiser will be safe by itself. All right, what kind of spells do they have? This will look great on my mantle. Justice will be served. Hmm. They serve in justice. Overwhelm. Overwhelm. Waking Sands. Oh, let's see. 10. See, they block there. They take 10. They gain 4. No, I don't think we need a Waking Sands. This one's a fighter. Stay back. Stop having sharp sights. Wonder how much this is worth. All right, what's my plan for this lucky find? Oh, y'all saying that I should have put it on the Senna? I, I've been worried about sh uh, single combat, but I guess, yeah, I guess y'all saying that I should have put it on the Senna, because then that would have been four damage. Yeah, I guess y'all are right. Um, what do I want to do with this lucky find? Like, what do I actually want to grab, and what do I want? Who do I want to have it? Really? Plus zero, plus two, just the worst option out of the three? <laughs> I guess I, I guess I took too much time, it automatically chose that. All that glitters is mine. See what we see, soldier. Danger pays. Strike for justice! We'll get our licks in! For real? Keep your distance. So that'd be three things dying for Lucian. That's 
just want to keep this repost available to protect. They're not acting like they have anything, even though I know we could get a good Radiant Guardian in right now. I just want this repost to protect. I, I would feel bad if I do Radiant Guardian and then they Cataclysm or single combat. Purity and peace. Make it worth my while. Alright, that'll do. Couple overwhelm double attacks. And stay dead. And stay dead. <laughs> Tell the people what you have seen today. That's we saw a Dawn Speaker 5-0. Oh, now, you know, some of it was over in normal, but we did get a win in Masters rank there at the end in a, a kind of mirror mirror type match with the same regents. Rainy Guardian came in clutch against some of those, especially against Aurelia Azir. We definitely need the Radiant Guardians there. Uh, but Bruisers, with those lucky finds, getting Overwhelm for Lucian and uh, Senna, that was really nice. Um, but then I, I loved having just like these Sand Soldiers that either the Azir or the or the Dias was making so that we would have things. Because, you know, with Dawn Speakers, you need to have allies die. But usually you don't really want your allies to die, so it's kind of, you know it's kind of difficult to enable dawn speakers uh because then also if you if you have like normal allies in play they're also going to grow from the dawn speakers which makes it more difficult for them to die which makes it more difficult for dawn speakers you know all that kind of stuff but having sand soldiers with dawn speakers was perfect because we attack sand soldiers come into play they definitely die and they're not like you know real allies that are staying in the back row uh that are doing you know they're attacking and blocking and so that we're able to grow those so that's a, a nice combination that's that's kind of about it, you know. Like, and then you know we had some good protection. Uh, Rangers resolve came in clutch sometimes. The golden ages were also that's the other thing. The rallies, then getting extra attacks with those sand soldiers. So having all the golden ages was awesome. Even the cataclysm gave us some removal and some other attackers. All that was very nice as well. So worked out worked out really well. All right, so that's Lucian Azir Dawn Speakers. Uh, you know, sand soldiers plus dawn speakers. Hopefully, uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube enjoyed the deck with the nice 5 0 here. Let me know in the comment section. Um, and of course, as always, uh, let me know if you try it out yourself. If you, this is a deck you try out, let me know how it goes for you. Always love to see those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll see you for the next video.